Greetings, I approach the K family, Pastor KB here in the beautiful state of Tennessee. And I just wanted to follow up on the message uh, that we just delivered entitled, Who Are the Sons of God? And I just thank God for each viewer of this message. We have received such an overwhelming response and we thank God for each of you who have been blessed by this word and so i just wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that we learned from this message number one we learned that according to the old testament sons of god is referred to as angels but according to the new testament sons of god is has a different concept and then secondly uh, we learned that there is a difference between sons of God, S-O-N-S, -S, versus the son of God, T-H-E, the son of God. And then next, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse number 26, and Luke chapter 3, verse number 38, we learned that uh, the first Adam, a spirit being, was made in the image and the likeness of the almighty God. And then also uh, Adam, the first Adam, was a son of God. And then lastly, uh, what we learn uh, is because, because all mankind uh, is an offspring of the spirit being Adam, uh, and because mankind continually willfully disobeyed the almighty God. However, when we as spirit beings created in the image and after the likeness of the almighty God. When we accept the last Adam, which is Jesus the Christ, then he gives us power to become sons of God again. And so I am just super excited about this revelation that God is making congruent for us to help us understand that in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in, we as sons of God, and this is the message from the Holy Spirit, we as sons of God, it is time for us to manifest. And so I wanted you to know, uh, just to understand, that this is not gender specific. This has nothing to do whether you male or female, but this is all about us as being created and made in the image and the likeness of the almighty God. It is time for us to manifest. It is time for the sons of God to manifest because you are who God designed you to be. God bless you.